What Fox doesn't tell you, you'd think Fox would want to bring down Obama. No, it's all about a balance of power in the elite. Is that Sinaloa also confirmed in federal court, and the feds admitted it, is allowed to ship in for five years hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tons of tons of pure cocaine through Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. Sinaloa is on the border and teamed up with the bankers and is fighting a war with other cartels that are bringing the drugs up and have to go through Sinaloa territory. And that our government, which is the big foreign banks, the criminals, are laundering that money publicly and having the ATF ship guns to Sinaloa to try to win their war against the other cartels that aren't laundering their money through Wachovia, Wells Fargo, and others, who've all been caught on record, hundreds of billions in laundered money. If you're a new listener, just Google that. You, you can read it. It's a $376 billion in two years alone, two and a half years. That's Bloomberg, AP, Reuters as well. So you're not getting the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey would say. And that is the rest of the story. Good day, Paul Harvey. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> the rest of the story, good day, I'd have to hear him get the imitation right, is that they're not just allowing the guns to be shipped in and actually having taxpayer money pay for it. In one office, the ATF had said, we're almost in fistfights with agents saying, I'm not going to be part of this and saying, we've been ordered by the White House to do this. And the White House has perjured themselves. So my point is, we need to come out and toot our horn here. That we were right about this. We told you about this eight, nine months ago with precision. And now it's come out. And the Republicans aren't even making this a campaign issue to destroy Barack the criminal Obama.